Well, voting is really one of the things that our founding fathers gave us as a right in a, in a republic, in a, in a democracy. We as a citizen, we have the right to vote for our elected officials who represent us. And so I think it's a core fundamental right that we have as, as Americans and as Missourians. And so I think it's, it's an honor and I think everyone should take advantage of that honor. Just like we have to have a, a, an ID to get just about anything else that we want to do in this society, you have to prove it who you are. And so we think it's important that you have to have an ID to prove who you are when you present yourself at, to, to vote. There's always room for improvement. Uh, we want to make it easy to vote, but hard to cheat. We've had a lack of transparency with regards to what's being taught to our children. And I think a lot of parents are very concerned about their rights, making sure that they know what their children are being taught in their schools. And that's what I'm very interested in supporting, is making sure that we know what is being taught to our children and that it's the, the, the type of things that we think are the fundamental things of reading, writing, and arithmetic that we used to, used to think that was, that's what our schools should be focusing on versus focusing on other things that really are not as important as focusing on the fundamentals of education. The facts are the facts. We have inflation that is clearly through the roof of highest I think it's been since I've been a young man. When you're filling up your gas tank and it costs you 100 bucks to fill up your truck, that hits home. I mean, you have to drive to get to work, you have to drive to take your kids to school. You need a vehicle, and, and, and in order to drive a vehicle, you need gasoline for most cars. So not everyone has electric vehicles. So gasoline is the most immediate impact. You're seeing a, a, a significant growth in the cost of food. Our groceries have gone up, and that's another thing that people have to have. They have to have food and they have to have gasoline. Inflation hurts basically the middle class, lower middle class, the, the, those who are who don't have the resources to, to basically pay additional money for when, when prices go up. Uh, those are the ones that are impacted the most, which is the majority of, of America. On fixed incomes, they can't, they can't absorb a, a significant increase in their cost.